Hello, this reading is for Capricorn. Capricorn, this is your summer reading. June, July, and August. Let's see how we're starting. Offering. We get a song. Capricorn Summer. Capricorn Summer. Capricorn Summer. Capricorn Summer. Let's see. Tell Me by Diddy and Christina Aguilera. Offering. The offering as a propitiatory act symbolizes the human virtue of rendering cult to the highest. Associated to the moon, letter Q, and the number two, it represents the reverent feeling or showing deep and solemn respect of love principle. The quote is, like an offering of flour on the best of thy pleats, must be thy giving to the afflicted heart. As an element of prediction, it promises devotion, adoration, fervor, loving passion, harmony and discord, inspirational thoughts, acts of prodigy, variable initiatives, more dis dissip dissipating than edifying achievements. So more going away than more providing moral or intellectual instruction. Okay, let's see what else we got. What quality will you be embodying in the summer? Audacious. It's a nice quality to have. All right. Let's say June. For Capricorn, July, for Capricorn, and August, Capricorn. June, you've got Tuba, feeling safe. July, happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. And. August transcend universal oneness. Okay. So June feeling safe. Let me get stickers first. Capricorn June, please. Capricorn June, please. Capricorn July, please. Capricorn August. Okay, what the hell is that shit? So, with feeling safe, I have. Is that Mike Myers? Um, I don't know who that is. I'll Google it. July 20th could be significant. And for August, I've got this lady. Chucky's wife. Why are these people trying to... I need three more. Two more stickers at least for those. I don't like those. Capricorn June. People that are not dealing with crazy people. Alright, I don't know what that is. Cat flag. Capricorn August for those not dealing with a crazy person. Marijuana Tax Act. 
Mary Juana of 1937. Red. There's something about the root chakra safety. Uh, let's read this one. Goddess of feeling safe from Barbados, Guiana, and Salem. Temple ancestors element air. Those two knives, swords come in. Great ancestress Tatuba was an enslaved Caribbean woman who was the first person accused in the 1692 Salem witch trials. She was most likely kidnapped from the Guiana region in South America and then sold through a Barbados plantation. Tatuba's guidance, it is finally safe to be you. You have wandered through a dark night. Your trip has been long. There is light ahead. Your liberation is apparent. The embodiment, you deserve to feel secure. Feeling safe is knowing that your basic needs are met. Feeling safe is feeling at home in your body. Feeling safe is trusting your journey. Feeling safe is feeling free around those you love. Feeling safe is trusting that the sun will rise again. If you grew up emotionally, spiritually, or physically unsafe, reset your default expectations to a healthier vibration. The quote is, I am safe. It is safe to be safe. Okay. Let's see what tarot cards we get for June. Let's go here. All right, death. I don't like this. Why the death card? I don't like that school bus. I don't like that it's a death card. I don't like that with this feeling safe thing. Why the death card? Spider action. So somebody could be weaving. Uh, Twelve tails. Something you thought was going to happen is not going to. Or someone is acting a certain way. Or like they're going to help you. Am I on the right one? No. Sorry. Someone means you harm. Be careful. Yeah, I don't like this. Or you need to act. Don't wait. Waiting will put you at risk. Situation or person requires swift, decisive action. What is this? Okay, I need another card. What is this? Why? What is this? Knight of Pentacles? The Rider is a sign of good news. Maybe be careful around uh, cars, anything, um, any modes of transportation. Maybe careful on a school bus. Maybe careful with your pet, careful in your home. June is a big caution sign for me. I don't know what, what's going on here, but... I'd advise caution. What's this? Blink one and blink one eighty two smiley logo postcard. Okay, feeling this, feeling happy. Ah, uh, where's that book? Okay, 
Be mindful, this is for July. Be mindful of how happiness will affect every aspect of your life on your path. Also, intuit if there is someone else in your life who needs to be brought into this awareness of happiness. This is important to recognize as well. Others will want to learn from you, and whether you admit it or not, you can be their teacher. When you are filled with love and compassion, not only do you bring happiness into your life, but you lead others by example. Be the light. Be the light link. 182 you might experience a miracle like I said July 20th could be significant all right tarot cards for Capricorn in July you have the tower so something monumental is going to happen in your life um, I'm read it from here The Tower, Numinosity, revolu Revolution, Annihilation of the Old, or a prison is broken open, our safety structures are destroyed, change, upheaval, collapse, deception, unforeseen catastrophe. Expect to be shaken, something old and outworn has fell. Necessary experience, destruction of pride, Overthrow of old outworn habits by the new. So you may be happily picking up some new habits in July. Offering audacious, tell me uh, why the tower? The wheel of fortune. So something about divine timing. I've got a knight of swords, an ace of swords. Um, there's something about intimacy here. Maybe lucky at the casino or some sort of gambling. It's three circles. Circle, circle, circle. Um, and why transcend universal oneness? I want to see what this is. Maybe you're opening up, opening up a dispensary. In principle, the Mari Huana Tax Act of 1937 stopped only the use of the plant as a recreational drug. In practice, though, so it's placing a tax on the sale of cannabis. Maybe you're getting into the cannabis industry. This bill made possession and use of marijuana illegal. So be careful if you're, well, it's mostly legal in every state. I don't know what that is exactly. Just be cautious. All right, let's go here. Um, be careful if you have children and you're smoking and somebody else knows because they could be using that against you. Two of swords. So having to, well, let me go here, I want this definition of it. Two of swords, time to compromise or make a decision. Somebody could be blackmailing someone, saying they're going to tell or setting them up because they know their habits. Again, be careful in or also be careful in August. I don't know what this is. It's like a tit for tat, retaliation, revenge. Um, two of swords in here, expectations. What's this two of swords about? 
Nine of Swords, Cruelty, Ten of Swords, Betrayal, Ace of Swords, either ratting, telling somebody, gossiping, snitching. Um, who does Capricorn? Who should Capricorn, or what is this? What does Capricorn need to know? To cool this out. What does Capricorn need to know? Number 13. Danger. I don't know what this is. I don't like any of it. Um, I can't change it, but forewarned is forearmed. Two warring factions meet high in a darkened sky. Fairy warriors wield bows and staffs rushing in to met the bats threatening their homes. Meaning, send out the troops. This is a time for a physical engagement, for defending your own rights, and for protecting the valuables. It is time to stand up to dangers lurking around. Combative force may be necessary at this time. Stand your ground and don't back down. This is a hard lesson to take, but danger does appear in life and must be dealt with promptly. Um, oh God. I feel like I need one more. Let me go here. Who or what? Okay. Uniquely you. The more we are willing to become authentic rather than conventional, the more we will need to eschew, eschew conditioning in favor of aliveness. Be willing to run the risk of being authentic so that you can live from your heart and experience real joy. So regardless of what any of this is, be yourself. Somebody might make a deceiving offer. There might be a temptation. Uh, please be cautious. Thank you, uh, Capcom. Thank you, Capcom.